In this video, I'm going to discuss why you should be using Spotify as an artist and a kind of a beginner's guide to the platform. Let's jump in. Hey, it's Graham Farmer from Data Transmission, and if this is your first time joining us on YouTube, on this channel, we'll give you tips and advice uh, to con for conquering the music industry as a DJ and an artist. Today, we're going to be focusing on Spotify in our brand new tip series. In this video today, I'm going to run through the basics of Spotify for you as a DJ and an artist. We're going to talk about things like artist pages, profile pages, playlists, and there's going to be a few little bonus tips in there as well, so make sure you stay right till the end. I'm also going to generally just demystify the platform a little bit. I know there's, I know I speak to a lot of people when I'm out and about. Uh, a lot, I know when I'm speaking to a lot of DJs when I'm out and about, there always have lots of questions about how you can use Spotify, or what, what's the benefits. So I'm going to kind of go through a lot of those as well. Let's waste no more time. Let's dive into this content and let's just get on with the tips. So I've broken this down into seven easy steps and there's a bonus free giveaway at the end. So stay around for that. Step number one. The first thing you're going to need is you're going to need Spotify desktop version on your Mac or PC. The iOS version is pretty good and you can do a few things in there like making playlists, but the, the real power comes in the desktop version. So make sure you get that. Download it from their website uh, and get it installed on your computer. There's, a, there's loads of you can, extras you can do with it and generally it's just a lot quicker for using, on, using Spotify. Step number two. The big thing you really need to get your head around is the difference between a profile and the artist page. Artist pages are generated when you want to have music. They're auto-generated and they're created by the label or distributor when your release goes live. So if you haven't got releases, you don't get an artist page. As soon as you have a release, that's your, your artist page is created and then you go and claim that artist page. The other side is your profile. Your profile is where you sign up to Spotify in the first place. So if you go to Spotify.com, you sign up with your username, the same username as your handle for things like Instagram or Facebook or SoundCloud. So for us, it was at Data Transmission, so we sign up with that. Same for our, for our record label, Shanghai. We have Shanghai Records, at Shanghai Records. Anyone can have a profile, anyone can have a profile, so make sure you go and get one of those straight away. Does everyone get that? I know it's pretty, a lot of people struggle with it, and if you do, drop me a Spotify in the comments below, and then I can see you've got, under, got, it, under, got it locked down. Step number three. So your profile, you can have a profile without releases. This is where you create your playlists and you can build followers on your profile and you can build followers on playlists. These are really, really important and we're gonna go into playlists in full depth in a few weeks time. So make sure you come back for that one. Okay, step number five. You can have followers on playlists and you can have followers on your profile. The big one is really the followers on playlists. We have followers on our profile and they're going up nicely, but at the moment they don't really do much. I still like to have them on there, but just in case that Spotify decide they're gonna activate them at some point and they're gonna start doing something, where I'm in a much better place. Playlists, you can have anything, as you can have playlists without having releases. You just create your playlist and usually I'd say have one as an artist to start with and build that, build a nice solid playlist of 40 or 50 tracks and make sure you you know style it up, make sure the header looks nice, make sure the descriptions look good. Um, and then you share that out to your, to your, to your fan base. Step number five. Step number five, as an artist, you can have an artist page. Once you've had a release, that's when your artist page is created by Spotify. You can then grab that and get it verified. You used to have to have 250 followers to get your verified blue tick, but now you just go to artist.spotify.com, make sure you jot that down, I'll put it, I'll put it in the card below, um, and go and claim your artist page. I'm gonna be covering this fully next week and, and going through all the steps, so make sure you come back for that one. And as I said, ver verification is now open to all artists, so you can have that blue tick pretty quickly and pretty easily. And just remember, just a reminder, you can't have an artist page without a release. But as soon as it's there, go and grab it. Go and make sure you style it up, make it look nice. Again, you can start, start up your artist page, and we will run through all of that in a big artist page, building your artist page next week. Finally, step number seven. <laughs> 
you can get free promotion from Spotify. Now, how you do that is basically everybody and everybody's Spotify, they have a thing called a release radar. Now, to get it, get your tracks in people's release radar, that's basically having followers on your artist profile. The more followers you have on your artist page, the more release radars go you go into as your music released. So basically, as your music gets released, it gets released by Spotify into the release radars of all your followers. So you've got a thousand followers, you hit a thousand release radars, and so forth. Which that's basically free free promotion uh, and potentially free streams and free play. The more free streams and free play you get, essentially you're earning earning off them. Now, as I mentioned, I've jotted all this down into a free ebook. I've dropped the link below. And you can download that pretty quickly. I've gone through a load of these steps and I've kind of given a bit more detail into each of the steps in the ebook. So make sure you go and grab that. Um, I know a lot of people have been using it and finding it really valuable. Thanks for joining me on Data Transmission this week. I hope you enjoyed these tips. We're going to be doing these now weekly. I've got a full schedule. Uh, next week we're going to be talking about Spotify and building your Spotify, building your Spotify for Artists page and styling up your Spotify for Artists. So make sure you come back for that. They're going to be every Wednesday and I'm looking forward to doing these with you. If you've enjoyed them, please share them with your friends. If you know DJs that might are trying to learn Spotify, please share it with them. And if you find them useful, drop me a comment below in the card. Subscribe to the channel. If you haven't seen we're doing, uh, which I'm putting, the, if you haven't seen, I'm doing this mad hundred day challenge to try and get this channel to hundred thousand followers. And I'll drop that in the card. You can watch. Um, I'd love you for getting involved, and I hope that you uh, find this valuable. I'll see you again next time. I'm Graham Farmer. I'll see you.